Hello everyone, welcome to HD Awesome Box. Today I'm going to be playing Pokemon Emerald Nuzlocke on Evolve Challenge. Today I'm going to be battling the first gym leader. I think her name is Roxanne. I'll just be showing you my team. I have Awesome Box, also known as Mudkip, Wallace the Talo, Suzanne the Talo, and Pinky the Wishman. So, as I stated in the previous video, the rule for this challenge is uh, I cannot evolve Pokemon. If a Pokemon is fainted, it is considered dead. I can only catch the first Pokemon I meet on each route, and uh, I have to battle every trainer that I see, slash that I can battle. There might have possibly been another roll, but you know, that's silly. And now I'm going to destroy Roxanne with my awesome Mudkip. You yeah, Mudkip! You bet I can't catch a Lotad. Lotad is pretty hardcore. Because he only learns moves in his first state, so you have to keep him in his first form up to level like 55. Otherwise, he learns no moves in his second and third form. So he'd be like the most awesome, awesome, hardcore Pokemon for this level 12 G uh, Geodude. GG. Just beat my level 16 Mudkip. If you have a Mudkip, you pretty much cannot lose this battle. If you lose this battle, you are considered a noob. Do 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 Super effective one hit kill. Like I didn't see that coming. Yeah, with my super awesome musical number. I saw this cool remix of uh, the Pokemon Red battle, or like battle against Trainer Red in uh, Soul Silver. It was pretty awesome. Not gonna lie. The only thing that bothers me about Emerald is you can only see how many Pokemon they have left when they switch out. So when you're doing uh, only four battles and you put down your Game Boy for like 20 minutes and you come back and you're like, I don't know how many guys this person has left. Female Geodude, getting pretty rocky up in this place. Oh shizzle, Dow. So remember to like, subscribe, comment, and all that good stuff if you like our videos, and send in recommendations for video uh, video games that you like, or uh, if you, uh, yeah, derp. particularly if you know any really difficult games that we can try to record for a challenge mode, or games that are good for versus, like, uh, for a 1v1. Yeah, some box leveled up. Oh, I'll have to make sure he doesn't evolve. Oh, no spaz. <laughs> no spaz. No spaz is like the biggest joke of a Pokemon. But he got the mustache on his second form, so that's cool. Does no spaz even have a mouth? Why do you have like one foot in here? What, what do you think this is? Like a rave? Put your foot down. Rock tomb. Oh no! The only way you can really beat me is if you get the super awesome critical quadruple hardcore hit. All I have to do is use a potion for every like second turn. Oh yeah, he makes it so he can't switch out. Not like I was going to, this is a water type. He basically just made it easier for me to KO him, so I don't even need to use a potion. If I get a crit, I'll win. Aw, oh, darn. Come on, Munkip, you can do it. Aw, oh, god, an Ornberry. Seriously? If he takes him out of the red... Okay, good, that means that Roxanne won't use a potion on him. I spoke incorrectly, apparently. Well, come on, critical hit, Mudkip, you can one-hit him. Mudkip, Mudkip, aww. The only thing is, he hasn't helped, like, hasn't done anything to me. So he used one attack, then he used block, took damage. Used a potion, took damage. So he basically just got to heal a tiny bit of health. He'll take some more damage. Oh, super effective. What I thought, nose pass. Yeah, you just witnessed it here. Mudkip sealed my victory at the first Pokemon Gym. This is the first out of eight gym badges I have re going to receive. Yeah, you have much more to learn. What's with her hair? Looks like cinnamon buns on her head. Except the wrong color. She had brown hair, so it'd be cinnamon buns. The stone badge, that's not original. Older badge is cooler. No! B B B B B B B B B B B B Unevolve, Unevolve, B B B B B B B B B B B G B B G Baby girl, baby girl, what you doing? Don't evolve, don't evolve. No, don't you be like that, my hip. That's what I thought. I basically just maliciously mashed the keyboard until he stopped evolving. I received a stone badge. 
I think she gives me like rock tomb or something silly. Which can be only semi useful. I don't think anyone can learn them on my team. HM cut. I cut you. I'll HM1 you like there's no tomorrow. Yeah. Rock tomb. I'm pretty sure Taylor can't learn that. The only Pokemon that might learn that is Wishmer, but I doubt it. I don't want to sink too many TMs into Wishmer though, because I don't know how long it'll last being a pink ball. You know. Mudkip might have a chance of learning it. Yeah, Mudkip can learn it. Although I don't want to know if I want to rock that move on. Oh, I'm going to teach Cut to Wishmer because it's 50 power. And. What? Really, Wishmer? Also, I just realized that if there's a Pokemon that I need for an HM, and uh, because I need it to progress the game, I'll go and catch a Pokemon that can learn it, and put them in my party solely to use Cut and whatever, and then I oh, won't use them at all. Look out, get out of the way! Oh no, there's a thief! Oh, I guess that's where that Team Aqua Battle comes in. Don't take my good imprecise, er, what? What's that word? That word that describes things. Pokemon Center. Might as well heal my Pokemon before I go take down an evil organization. Because, you know, Team Aqua wants to make the sea level rise by making it rain. But everyone knows where rain comes from. It comes from the sea. So they want to increase the sea level by taking water from the sea and putting it back in, basically. Genius. BBBBB. <laughs> BBG. -B -B -B. I'm gonna have to name a Pokemon BBG. When's the next time I get to catch a Pokemon? Because the route up from here is only can only come from the top down, so you can't like go up there and catch a Pokemon like you have a fishing rod. I need a Magikarp. If I know you mean to be in serious trouble, I've already been up here, so all I have to do is avoid wild Pokemon battles. I have to walk like three more steps of grass. You think I can do it? Derp, 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 derp. Yeah, I did it. Derp, derp. Derp, 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 derp. Derp, 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 The only thing in this cave, like Wishmer. Apparently, these things have delicate hearing, according to the game, because they're like, oh, we can't construct because the Pokemon have delicate hearing and it hurts their little ears. Even though that their Wishmer, like, scream 24 7. Yeah. I'm gonna move Water Gun to the first slot on my one tip. I'll have to start leveling up some other guys. Summary. I didn't even know you could do this until like 5th gen game. Apparently I could do it all along. Go like this, and then press A on water gun. Switch it with tackle. And go like this, and put wing attack up first. And then like that. Yeah. Oh boy, Wishmer has pound. Put Wishmer up first, because... If he dies, then not too much loss. I won't level up Suzanne yet, because I already have level 14 Halo. And Suzanne's going to be the first one to get replaced if I need a slot. Come and get some. Come at me, bro, is essentially what he just said to me. I'll come at you, bro. <laughs> Grah, he'll haul it all. That hostage Perkamurn turned out to be worthless. And to think I made the getaway in the tunnel to nowhere. Hey you, you wanna battle me? Who is he talking to? Is he just talking to himself and then he noticed me there and he's like, Hey baby, wanna come over to my house to battle? Team Aqua would like to battle. Then I'll you in Yeah, go Pinkie Pie. Oh, I'm probably gonna name her Pinkie Pie. Oh, come on. Wait, let's see. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, I could've named her Pinkie Pie. Ah, oh, dang it. I have to start naming them for home games. Once I get the... Name changer guy. 
Okay, let's switch out to Mudkip. And then one hit Poochiana. Use hand attack. Oh no! On my Emerald, when I was playing Emerald normally, I my all my Pokemon are under leveled because I literally wanted to beat the game just to catch Rayquaza right because it was one of the Pokemon I was missing when I was trying to catch them all. And what happened is I was trying to beat the Elite Four, and the uh, like Dragon type guy I couldn't beat, so I basically sent out uh, like Gardevoir and someone. So I used well, you sent out one Pokemon, I forget what it was, and used six hand attacks on the Pokemon and switched out to Gardevoir and did six double teams. So basically, their chance of hitting me was like 0.05% chance. So even when they did hit me, I could just potion the next turn because they never hit me two turns in a row. And even on the Dark type guy, I would sand attack and switch out to Gardevoir and double team. And uh, if I use Future Side, I could knock out the Dark type Pokemon even though Gardevoir was a Psychic type and it was a Psychic type move for some reason, which is pretty cool. Yeah, Pinky leveled up. Yeah, let's get Monkey Barry almost leveled up again. I think it's gonna be annoying trying to press B every time someone levels up. Boss will tell me there'd be a slick and easy job to pull, if you know what I mean. If you wanted that bad, we take it back. Yeah, Devon Goods. Get a free cell phone from that Devon Corp. This guy was just like watching in the corner. He's like, yeah, my wingle. I'm so glad you're safe. Piku owes her life to you? What? That's weird. You're gonna sacrifice Pico to me? I demand Pico to be sacrificed to me because I am God. God of Pokemon. I usually find my cottage in the senior Petalbird words. Pokemon Emerald is like one of the hardest Pokemon games to play as a child because, uh, Trying to find out what to do without using a guide or the internet, because the internet wasn't that prominent when I was trying to play this game. I didn't even know what the internet was. But trying to play it was really difficult because they give you vague hints like way early in the game. So after you get the Devon Corp, he's like, oh yeah, I have a cottage. And that essentially means you have to go to him to get to the island in the second gym. But you didn't even know the second gym was on the island. You didn't know where the second gym was at all. I got, managed to get through the game, I think my original playthrough of the game, like my first one, was Ruby, and I had like 300 hours on that game. It was pretty hardcore. Which one does more damage? I'm gonna assume Uproar. Oh wait, I just realized that once I... Okay, good. Once I use Uproar, I'm stuck with it like for like 5 turns. Let's pound this pink, mushy pink thing. If you know what I mean. Ew. Pinky used pound. I think that's kind of hilarious. Apparently he can only use like uproar on me. Oh, maybe he learns pound at level seven. Ooh, I could probably grind in uh, that cave there. But I didn't say Zubat. Zubat are hardcore. They're like the most legit Pokemon. I actually won't grind yet. Hey, I can get in this house. Not creepy.jpg. Hey, weird guy. What's with all these three guys that look alike? That's waste. Yeah, I really don't care. I didn't read a single word he said. Let's go. Running through the grass, doing great stuff. Oh, an Abra? I could have caught an Abra. Actually, no, Abra would have been useless. You can only learn teleport until they evolve. Abras are cool in the actual game because they can get Kadabra and Alexam if you have any friends, but I. You know, it's hard to have friends. Especially when playing on a ROM. Friends are overrated. I have the internet. Taylo. I'm gonna knock out this Taylo for experience points. I'll just like skip over this battle. And battle skipped. Piggy leveled up to level 8. Oh boy. Run! Let's go to the Devon Corp. Or whatever. Hey guy. Oh, I got the Devon goods. I got the goods. You got the cash? Give me the cash. Get the goods. Yeah, the goods. I'll trade you goods for the goods. Oh, the goods. Oh, I have. 
our president's office, oh boy. I can't tell you how much I'm grateful for what you've done. Give me money. Give me money. Give me money. It's like, thanks for doing so much for us. Do some more. Kind of an unfair deal. I do stuff for him, and he gives me a lame Pokeball, and then he does, I have to do more stuff for him for no... nothing. This is child slavery. I don't approve of it. The way that couch is sitting, it looks like he's sitting sideways on that couch. Paint me like one of your French girls. Girls. Paint me like one of your French girls. I'm an amazing person, apparently. Yeah. Do 410. How many chores do I have to do? Come on, bro. Don't be like that. I got stuff to do. Got Pokemon to catch. Dog. Pokenav. Oh boy. Now I can call people in it. Yeah, map. I really hated the map in this Pokenav because it was so hard to access because you had to press like eight buttons to get to it rather than just going, you know, like putting the map on the select button. Go with caution and care. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, that'll be the end of this episode of Pokemon Unevolved Nuzlocke Challenge. Thank you for watching and tune in for more Pokemon-y goodness. Okay, thanks, bye. <laughs>